what is going on all you hollow table heroes it's your boy tachi and this is a tachi gaming and welcome back my friends to another star wars galaxy of heroes video it has been too long my friends since we have gotten into the Itachi Gaming account, that's that Hyperdrive Bundle account, guys. You guys have been being able to see it on the Hollow Tables in Grand Arena. But you ha we haven't done an update in three weeks. Jason says, do you know if you buy the Hyperdrive Bundle on one account, can you get on another one and restore purchases and get it on that one, too? Um... You should be able to get it on another account. I don't think you can restore. Uh, per uh, I guess I'm a little confused on your actual question. Um, if you have two different accounts, uh, you should be able to buy the hyperdrive bundle on each account. Um, you wouldn't be able to go to another account and restore the purchases, and you shouldn't be able to get uh, the one that you bought on. A separate account so if you talk about just purchasing it once and try to stretch it to two accounts no that won't work um, but if you're buying it on one account and then you can purchase it on the other account as well uh, but you're that's spending two hundred dollars all right so tonight we're gonna do something a little different than what we usually do I'm gonna go through some dailies today um, really just my farming so you guys can see <clears throat> what my farming is like um, on a day-to-day -day basis, where I'm farming and what I'm getting in those different areas. Today was a bit of a long day for me. <clears throat> um, having to work a little bit later um, at at, uh, at my job uh, because of certain things. And so uh, I wasn't able to do some things today. So AR Movie Trailers, what's going on? He says, I love these streams, man. I'm so glad you could join us live and uh, come hang out with us today. So let's go ahead and transition right on over and uh we'll start here with where we're at currently so arena rank 17 um, i'm getting top 20 on a regular basis uh, of my jedi knight revan team as you guys can see here uh and fleet rank 14. i can typically uh climb up to top 10 for fleets uh sometimes i get in top 10 for arena just depending on the day and what that path looks like for my climb Eva, what's going on, man? Nice arenas. Thank you, man. Um, and then Grand Arena Championship, uh, we are ranked 104th in Division 8. Uh, currently at Erodium. Um, AR Movie Trailers, I wish more people could see how great of a YouTube tour you are. Keep up these great streams. I will enjoy this stream. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that, man. I really do. Um, and so Grand Arena, we did win the championship round. If you're over in the Discord, I'll be posting those photos of those Ws here soon. I wasn't able to get in to show uh, what the battles were like, but I did win on the Itachi Gaming account. I won on the Itachi, uh, Itachi account, our main account, um, and on the Imps account. So uh, took number one in all three of those accounts. Super excited about that. Our Itachi Chi account, however, we fell to seventh place all right so as you can see i've got uh some extra energy going on here i haven't actually spent anything with um my crystals yet for the day currently at 3476 crystals so um before we get into farming galactic war last time you guys saw i was unable to actually multi-sim this and now my friends we can multi-sim so we don't have to go through that grueling galactic war every day which is awesome all right, so there we go. Got that done. And so what I got left for objectives today uh, was Galactic March. I got to do my Force Balance, Delivery Awaits, Battle Hardened, Mod Energy. So I didn't get to get in today, really, except to collect energy and to do my Arena Climbs earlier today. So let's refresh. I always refresh this three times. So I do my uh, 350s there. Um, I do one refresh on Cantina. Now, sometimes I'll do two, just depending on the day. Uh, but today, for today's purposes, we're only doing one. Uh, mod energy, I'll do this three times as well. 
Uh, reason being is I want to be able to not only slice my mods, but also be able to dig deeper mods. And because of my payouts, I'm able to do that. Zach, I'm looking forward to when I can multi sim it. <laughs> Still need 16 more uh, clears. All right, man. Hey, that's not too far behind. That's awesome, man. Uh, so we're officially two weeks in, or two months in, eight weeks. And uh, so this is what the roster is looking like. Um, we got Julie Bindo, Ahsoka Tano, Grandmaster Yoda, Jedi Knight Revan, Basil Sean, and Jedi Knight Anakin all at gear 12. So you're going to be working on gear 13 for these guys, uh, especially Jedi Knight Revan, Grandmaster Yoda, Julie Bindo for sure. So right now with my farms, Mother Talzin, we're at 25 out of 100. Uh, so she's one of my hard node farms right now. Uh, Night Sisters have been doing fantastic for me over in Grand Arena, as you guys have seen. Ooh, two there. Very nice. Uh, none right there. So I've been grabbing her. She's getting close to seven stars, guys. I'm trying to get these Night Sisters to seven stars. They're a fantastic Grand Arena defensive team. Uh, they're going to be great and pretty pivotal for um, the Heroic Sith, in which my guild does Heroic Sith. Jedi are also pretty big for Heroic Sith, specifically Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, so that's part of the reason I went for that team so quickly. Also because um, that team is just a beast over an arena if you can get them early. All right. Bosk is another one of my farms. He is currently at five stars, headed over to six stars. We haven't really worked on his abilities too much. I do have him modded, which is nice. So we're going to go in and grab some Bosk shards right now. He's over in 9B hard. So I was able to finally cl clear that uh, with three stars. I think last time you guys saw, I was unable to do that, but I was able to go through and get it now. All right, got some shards there for Bosk. All right. Um, then I'm working on... Let me just pull them up by faction here. My Geos, guys. Uh, if you guys know and watch the Imps, I am so big on these Geos. Sunfact is almost at seven stars. Uh, now, I haven't been farming Spy or Soldier here lately. I do have Soldier to gear 11 already. Forgot just how fast you're able to gear these bugs. Um, Spy, I haven't really worked on his gear that much, um, but he is at gear 8 right now. And haven't really worked on the mods for Gene Ocean Brood Alpha, uh, but I do have him unlocked. And I do have a Zeta that I can use. I'm kind of holding on for that for right now. How is he so high for you? Packs? No, no packs. Zero packs. I have not done any packs for Separatists or uh, Geos. Um, I've been grabbing Sun Fact every single time I, I get to see him. So let's get in here and get Genos and Brood Alpha. Um, with our Cantina energy, we, he's on 8D, which you're able to farm right away. So if you want to head into Geos on day one, you absolutely can uh, with this Hyperdrive Bundle account. Um, now, one of the things, we don't follow our traditional farming guide that we set out there for free to play. Uh, reason being is because with the Hyperdrive, you are really set up to go ahead and go in and farm anything you want. However, I highly, highly recommend going straight in for Jedi Knight Revan. You get Bastille Sean at five stars. Um, if you buy those packs, you spend about $100 to $150 extra. So $250 in total with the Hyperdrive bundle. Um, and you're going to have seven star uh, Jedi Knight Revan, not Geo's Bosk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bosk, I, de I did do the Bounty Hunters packs, um, and I did some ship packs for Bosk's Houndstooth, uh, which helped me get some of this stuff. So, uh, those packs, some of those Hyperdrive bundle or the um, uh, Journey guide packs are definitely worth it. Um, definitely anything that's going to be able to give you that you only have five characters to get so jedi knight revan you only need five five characters for and getting his um his um this over here in the shop journey guide mega packs 100 worth it like i said about 150 dollars this month so um not this week but probably next week maybe the week after we're gonna go in and spend about $150 and start on these Journey Guide Mega Packs for Darth Revan. Uh, he's definitely my next next one to go for for this account as far as legendaries are concerned. All right, let's get back to our farming. Uh, so I farmed Boss. We already farmed Talzin. 
Um, I'm also grabbing Night Sister Zombie here. I haven't activated it yet. Again, I am working on Night Sisters. Uh, so I want to get her as close to seven stars as possible before I activate her. Um, so that I am able to um, really take advantage of her over in Grand Arena. All right. So let's play some gear here real quick. We've got Revan. We're going to put that on Revan. Ah, okay, so that took away a piece there for us. Um, and my Revan, my mods, I really need to work on my mods here for this Revan. Um, I got 120 speed mod here on the diamond. But everything else, 14 speed, this one actually isn't too bad. I do have crit damage. It's only at 10 plus 10 speed. I want to get that a little bit higher. Offense here with plus 10 speed and plus 10 speed here. He's actually not that bad. Um, so we got 10 or better. Those guys are going to jump up to 11. And if we look at his stats here, I'm trying to get him fast, he's at 264 speed. So I really want him over 300. And so as this account goes along and we're farming more and more mods and have some additional currency, uh, I'll be able to go in and actually get him to a much higher gear tier. All right, so like I said, we're on Geos. We've uh, switched over to uh, trying to finish up our night sister team here so i'm gonna play some gear looking to play some gear on my night sisters here so let's finish off this gear piece and i typically go to the end here uh so right here i'm gonna use 9f normal and i'm going to sim from this uh reason for this is because we're gonna have some other pieces in here that are higher gear tier pieces that we're gonna need eventually for Garth Revan, should probably just focus on Brood Alpha and grab Sith Trooper later. You won't need a full Sith team for GA offense, and Brood is just a beast. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to continue to work on Brood Alpha. Um, Geos, like I said, are very near and dear to my heart. I love what they do over in Grand Arena, what they do in Fleet Arena. They're just, they're, they're gross. They're gross. All right, we need uh, 10 more of these guys. Let's buy this out of the guild event store. So that's five. We're gonna need that anyways. And let's see if we can get five more. There's two, zero, one. Uh, come on, CG. All right, I'm one away. I'm gonna spend a hundred more shards here. Uh, Cause I wanna finish this gear piece. There we go. All right, so this should allow me to take my Mother Talzin up to gear 10. There we go. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, uh, she is missing a mod, so we gotta get a mod on her. Um, let's see, let's go in. So I was looking today to mod my 501st. Uh, I was talking with DSP, and DSP is like, dude, you got to get mods on them. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely lacking on health mods, um, and I really, really, really need some speed arrows for these teams. So hopefully we can get a couple tonight. None there. It's a protection. I may use that one. And so this is one of the things that I do. Like I said, I put in a little bit extra accuracy uh, into my mods just so that I can do this in farm as well as slice. So I'm really just looking. I need that arrow. Come on. All right, we're starting to run low. So let's see who we can slice now. We're under 144. Didn't get our arrow, uh, but again, I still need to be able to slice some things. So let's finish up Jolie here. Jolie Bindo. Let's go over here and get our slicing on. Five more, come on. Ah. All right, so we'll get that tomorrow. That's fine. All right, moving on. Let's go over to shipments. And then I'll f go over the full roster. Obviously, in your regular shipments, you're going to grab all these gear pieces every single day. Um, here, I grab things as needed. Uh, I try to stay away from that as much as possible. Cantina battles. Uh, so, Cantina battles were done with old Daka. 
and so now I'm moving on to Old Republic, I believe. Yeah, Old Republic with fives. There's fives. Uh, Guild Store. This, we're going to slide on down here to the bottom. And we're going to grab Dengar here. Uh, we need him for Bounty Hunters. I'm going to go ahead and hit Low Gray as well. Low Gray is a long farm, as I'm finding out on my main account. All right, these Mark Threes, um, we need for some Rebels. Let's see what else we got here is gear. All right, I'm going to grab this. I need to start working on my Rebels as well a little bit here and there. All right, over here in Squad Arena Store, I have started grabbing HK-47 already and Nuke Gunray. AR, should I get Boss Pack? Boss Pack. To get Houndstooth. I have Hyperdrive Pack. I don't know if I should. Uh, yes. Houndstooth uh, is 100% worth it if you're buying those packs for the Houndstooth. That also gives you Bosk. Um, so, yes, I'd go in and get that. All right. Galactic War Store. We're still grabbing Cad Bane out of this. Uh, again, needed for, like, MILF and things like that. Um... Outside of that, I'm looking into ships, so I'm going to grab Wedge and Tilly ship, and we're going to save the rest of this. Now, if I was a little farther on, I'd actually start looking in the mod store for uh, mods, for good mods, things like this with, with speed, right? This is a good mod. Actually, I'll buy this one because this one only costs credits. Crit damage. Nope, not a good one. All right. Moving on to Fleet Arena Store, I'm not really buying Zeta ab uh, ability mats right now. Um, so we're just trying to finish off our ship. So Phantom 2 here. There's Sunfac. Spy I don't grab because he's going to be farmable very easily through Cantina battles. So we'll hold off for the rest of this. Um, I'm actually going to grab Rex's Ark there. Rex's ship. Guild event store. Now, for get two, I'm grabbing the negotiator. Uh, and then get one, we're grabbing Hermit Yoda. But I don't have enough for Hermit Yoda, so I'll just leave this alone. And we're going to save that up. Championship store. Uh, over here, I'm always grabbing these MK9s and whatever gear 12 plus finisher piece, a.k.a. the gear 13 piece, that I need. And then I go look into gear. All right, then we're gonna look into gear and look at the characters that may need it. So Jolie Bindo needs this piece. I'm gonna grab that piece. Uh, not really working on Anakin and Ahsoka to go to gear 13 yet. Mark fours. Okay, looks like our Night Sisters need this. I'm gonna grab that gear as well. Mark fives. Those droid collars uh, are few and far between. Uh, those ones you can only get through the uh raids so i'll grab those as, as much as i can thanks so much for your opinion also are you going to use zombie for night sisters absolutely i'm going to use zombie for night sisters all right let's head over here to ships i already did a little bit of farming on ships for fleet battles um i am farming uh, anakin's uh eta2 starfighter and so this i'm actually going to refresh so I do refresh this once a day just to get some more hits out of it. We're trying to accelerate this farm right now. And then my other big one right now is going to be Sunfax, um, uh, Genosha Starfighter as well. So let's put another 50 in and we'll get another three here. There's two, perfect. Uh, and we'll save this additional for tomorrow in our farming fleet challenges i've already done uh still just just where we're at as far as um what the bundle gives you right off the bat all right my objectives my daily objectives are done so let's complete those and let's fully go over this account and show you guys where we're really at new gun ray is ready to be activated we're not going to activate him right now big thing don't activate every single character that you get the star count just to activate them um, that's going to increase your galactic power and the lower you can keep this for the longer uh the better off you are now i do have a zeta to place so we're going to place a zeta tonight oh maybe i don't 
I'm six away. I'm, I'm lying. So this is my next Zeta is going to be on uh, Grandmaster Yoda Battle Meditation. Uh, this is where he gains foresight for two turns, plus 50% turn meter gain chance, and an additional plus 10% turn meter for each other living Jedi ally. Um, and so this is very, very big, actually. It makes Jedi Knight, uh, or Grandmaster Yoda just a little green monster that flies around all over the field uh, to defeat your enemies. All right, so let's start off up at the top at the 501st and show you guys where I'm at with that. So Katana obviously is at gear 12. Fives, we haven't really, really worked on. Like I said, I put some mods on these guys today uh, for Grand Arena purposes uh, to give them some more durability and survivability, especially at this point in the game for me. Uh, same thing with Rex, put some mods on him as well. Did the same for Echo. So these three guys got some mods today. Um, just for, so particularly for grand arena purposes I use them for attacking bounty hunters now my bounty hunters Django Fett did I forgot to I forgot to get Django I'm sorry so Django Fett is one of my farms I'm gonna spend another hundred crystals I got plenty of them all right Django Fett is another one of my farms and um, that goes along with the hound's tooth so I am farming him right now currently as well you guys already saw Bosk. We're farming that guy. He's number one priority for me. Um, and as well as his gear is a big priority for me um, right now uh, because because of his ship, really. So getting him to gear 11 is a big, big thing. We can max out his ship. The Hound's Tooth is the best tank ship in the game, guys. So, uh, yes, this ship is absolutely huge. So huge for ship arenas um and so we want to continue to work on him all day long all right um haven't done very much else let's uh, actually pop up oh, nope don't have enough he needs to he needs a hundred of these uh so there's boba fett haven't really done too much with the rest of these bounty hunters they're just kind of chilling ig88 can go to gear nine i'm gonna go ahead and do that um so yeah these guys are just kind of chilling Cad Bane can go to six stars. There we go. And uh, we're going to start working on these guys very soon. I want to go ahead and get uh, Chewbacca. We did get the Hound. Or we did. I did get uh, Millennium Falcon, MILF, the original trilogy, Millennium Falcon, Hans Millennium Falcon in ships. So we'll talk more about that here later. Empire, not. A lot of movement going on here guys uh, one of the one of the reasons why uh, I haven't done a lot of movement here on the Empire uh, is because their viability is slowly slowly being taken away over in Grand Arena um, now they're still a fantastic team to get fantastic team to work on just not my top tier priority geos are much stronger better uh, much stronger defensive team in grand arena they're much stronger offensive team in grand arena and so we're gonna be working on geos night sisters go crazy and can often defeat empire because of plague from other talzin uh so i'm working on those guys obviously jedi knight revan top tier top five team in the game um and so we're working on those teams that are going to be a little tougher getting to padme uh with geos is going to be big as well um especially seeing yeah papa pal i love me some papa palpatine but he's been put on the back burner on this account uh padme is going to be pretty big as well obviously we already got gear 12 ahsoka tano gear 12 jedi Knight anakin and those two things are huge ewoks these guys are a little later down in the road uh once i finish with geos and uh, Darth Revan, I'll pop over to Ewoks and start farming these guys for C-3PO. Um, so they aren't even in the horizon right now and just going to be sitting back there. First order, General Hux just became free to play. If you didn't know, he's over in 6A. Um, he's a hard node farm in 6A hard. As did Sith Trooper. And Sith Trooper uh, is in 6C hard. Um, I would say you probably want to go ahead and farm these guys. Uh, Galactic Legends Supreme Leader, Supreme Leader, right? Uh, Kylo Ren 
um, is probably going to need these two, and they're going to have to be relic. All the requirements are going to require relics uh, for the Galactic Legends. So, uh, crew, you're going to need Captain Phasma, Kylo Ren, First Order Executioner, First Order Stormtrooper, First Order Officer. Those have already been 100% verified for what you're going to need for those. Uh, crew being at relic 7. And Kylo Ren being at Relic 7, the rest of these guys at Relic 5. Uh, so, very interesting. Um, we'll see how that goes. Don't know how I feel about some of this stuff. Like, why do I want to take Phasma to Relic 5? Mm, I really don't. But, we're going to have to. Galactic Republic, G Rep. So, a lot of our time is going in here with the Galactic Republic, obviously with Jedi Knight Anakin. <coughs> Uh, we got Jedi Knight Anakin pretty much maxed out um, along with his mods. So this guy's hitting pretty hard, which is pretty nice. Um, just under 200 speed, which we're not really looking for the speed. It's all this damage right here. All this damage is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so that's that's one of our big focuses, especially once we get into Galactic Republic with General Kenobi. Uh, you see here, I got 72 out of 145 shards. So uh, we're just about halfway there to getting five-star General Kenobi, uh, which is nice. And he's one of those raid characters. Uh, Geos. So here are the Geos, guys. I haven't really, really started working on Poggle. Poggle's pretty easy to get. You can get him over in a Galactic War store. Uh, and then he's got two hard nodes that you can actually farm. Now, if you're not getting the Hyperdrive Bundle account, I highly recommend farming Poggle, the lesser, out of the 6E hard node. It also has IG-2000 ship in it, which you're going to need for, or the IG-2000 ship, which is IG-1... 1000 right ig 1000 was that what it is right 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 ig88 i'm sorry ig88 ship Woo! it's been a long day ig88 ship ig2000 is needed for unlocking milf the millennium falcon so uh, i would farm him out of that node so you can get that double whammy there with getting the ship uh shards as well all right let's look at the rest of my jedi like I said, you got Jedi Knight Revan, Jolie Bindo, Ahsoka Tano, Grandmaster Yoda, um, Old Ben. We gotta start working on this guy soon for CLS. Um, this is gonna kind of be after I get my bounty hunter straight and get um, Chewbacca, um, because we're gonna want to put Chewbacca in with CLS for sure, along with Han Solo. Speaking of Han Solo, uh, we'll get over to Rebels here in a little bit. Haven't really worked on any of the Phoenix yet. <coughs> Same with Mace Windu. Uh, Mace Windu ship is probably the easiest to go for for gas. However, I'd probably say start farming Kenobi ship as soon as possible. It's a better ship for Galactic Republic. And, uh, you know, General Kenobi easily to take up to Relic 7, uh, making that capital ship redonkulous. Uh, Mace Windu and his ship, eh. eh. That's how I feel about it. Don't know if I ever want to relic Mace Windu unless they do a rework. Hopefully CG does a rework this year. Last season of Clone Wars comes out in uh, seven days. Excited about that. All right, Night Sisters. Now these girls are looking nice. If I do say so myself. Um, Asajj Ventress is at seven stars and she's on her way to gear 12. Um, old Daka. Is also at seven stars on her way to gear 11. Mother Towson, as you all saw tonight, we just took her to gear 10. And she's coming along quite nicely. Uh, now, Talia, I haven't been farming Talia yet, but she is at gear 8. She needs to go to gear 9. Spirit is at gear 9. So, um, very nice there on her way to gear 10. I uh, haven't really been farming this character either. Really, we want to get the zombie instead of Spirit in there, or Talia, take out Talia, one of the two. Um, and so zombie, uh, we'll probably be looking to activate her soon Just not this go around I'm um, gonna we'll wait till we get that like week break for grand arena uh, So that I can really actually focus in on on zombies gear because we're gonna get her to gear I think it's gear 10 to where she's able to um, Continuously revive and you have to go through essentially one character or a few characters three times before you can start actually killing off these night sisters 
makes them very hard. Old Republic haven't done anything with Mission Vows, Alabar, T3, and 4. Obviously, you've seen Julie, Jedi Knight, Revan, and Basil Sean. So these guys are just chilling. We will need to work on these guys for Malik. So when I start going for Darth Revan pretty hard um, and gearing those guys and getting the star counts for them, I'm going to be gearing these other two here, Mission Val and Zalabar, to go along with Jolie, Bendo, Jedi Knight, Revan, and Basil Sean for that, Jedi Knight, for that uh, Darth Malak event. Phoenix. Now, eventually, I'm going to want to work on Phoenix. I do have Zeb and Kanan, both at seven stars. Ezra Chopper and Hera are always my seven star options for this. Um, they're easy to get. Hera and Ezra are both in Cantina Battles. Chopper is over in the Cantina Battle store. Uh, so getting them seven stars is a lot quicker than Sabine Wren's Hard Node Farm. However, Sabine Wren's Hard Node Farm, uh, you might want to do. She's got a, a fantastic ship that is going to take you into mid and mid late game uh, and potentially even late game with the home one and. Um, the Millennium Falcon, so Rebels, Rebels on Rebels on Rebels. Uh, Akbar, he is my fleet commander. He's at gear 11. This guy's looking nice. We need to put another mod on him. Uh, so he's looking pretty nice and doing pretty good for me in Grand Arena as well at this point. Uh, like I said, we need to work on Old Ben, Biggs Dark Light, Lighter, uh, Wedge Antilles. We want to really get into that Rebel fleet with Han's Millennium Falcon. Now, Han so was at 117 shards out of 145. So we we're on that seven star march for, or I mean, sorry, that five star march and unlocking him for Han Solo. Uh, so he's coming right around the corner. And so I really got to get in gear with my bounty hunters, to be completely honest with you. So we can get this guy, his good old friend and companion, lifelong companion, Chewbacca, here, um, who he helped uh, actually free from the Empire. So that's how the Rebels are looking. Um, I'm probably going to work on Cheer and Baze to go along with my CLS team. So I'm thinking CLS, Han Solo, Cheer at Baze, and uh, uh, Chewbacca. So that will be a fun team actually to use over in Grand Arena for sure. Resistance, haven't done anything outside of what we got from day one. Rogue One, same thing. Obviously, they're part of Rebels. Um, Separatists. Separatists we're starting to work on here uh, As you guys saw new gun rays ready to be activated. I've got 51 out of 80 shards for general grievous already So he's starting to come along as well Sith uh, These guys haven't really moved dark Treya. I'm at 58 out of 145 shards, so we're getting close to dark Treya as well And so Sith I have a special special place in my heart for Sith as you all know the rise of the Sith Empire, all my Sith assassins that are out there over in the Discord and are join us pretty much almost every time live. I greatly appreciate you guys. Um, but you guys know how I feel about the Sith. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. And then obviously you have your Sith Empire. We're going to be working on those guys very, very soon. All right, so those are my characters. Let's hop over to my ships and see how I'm doing there. Uh, let's start with our light side characters, and then we'll pop over the dark side. So home one is on that seven-star march already. We're two months in, guys, and we're on a seven-star march for home one. That is a new record for me uh, because I have not done that on any other account, and so this is working out very, very well for me. Ahsoka Tano ship is at seven stars. And this thing is maxed out outside of her. Um, uh, wow, I always forget this. The uh, enter the battlefield, the uh, reinforcement slot, reinforcement ability. Uh, Jedi Knight Anakin, we're working on his Starfighter, obviously. Uh, we pretty much just needed that seven stars and some additional ability mats so we can max out his uh, all of his abilities. He's at gear 12, and this guy this guy hits like a truck, man. It's crazy how hard he hits at, at five stars uh, with being at gear 12. Ghost is on a seven-star march right now. That's the Phoenix um, actual ship there. So is Phantom 2, both out on their seven-star march. Uh, that's the rest of the Phoenix there. Big's Dark Slider ship, we're getting close to uh, six stars. So I'm going to be working on that as we continue to go along. I am using Umbaran Starfighter in my arena team right now, uh, along with Ahsoka Tano's ship, uh, Anakin's ship, Phantom 2. 
um, and then I'm using two dark side uh, ships as well so uh, that's how we're doing here the radish just came out uh, man that thing looks looks pretty neat I don't know how it's gonna deal with the meta now Haas Millennium Falcon we're ready to activate this guy we just need Han Solo and Chewbacca so as soon as we're able to activate this thing we're gonna activate it and take that into arena it should bump us up quite a bit in our arena uh, for ships dark side now I've been working on my geos y'all know how I feel about these geos and uh, Geonosian soldiers starfighter after two months is already at seven stars we just got to finish maxing out his abilities he himself is at gear 11 so we're gonna be able to max out his crew power as well Sunfax starfighter is at five stars going on to six stars um, so we'll continue to work on that and then Gene Ocean Spy is on the seven star March um, and uh, looking forward to get this guy seven stars as well so uh, just need to work on gear on these guys Slave One is a part of my arena team uh, five stars hasn't haven't really done much with this didn't even take it out of 80 um, IG 2000 uh, we use this for uh, the Millennium Falcon get it at five stars with the hyperdrive bundle account which is great because they pretty much get you per almost there to be able to unlock Hans Millennium Falcon Houndstooth now Houndstooth I do use <coughs> an arena um, as my tank it's a fantastic fantastic ship uh, the sooner you can get it the better um, tooth and nail and um, this right here devourer of prey is almost maxed out we need to continue to work on Bosk's um, gear tier. So we need to get him to gear 11 so that we can go through and really max out his crew power. This crew power, Tran Trandosian Barricade, is really what makes the Houndstooth an annoying, annoying ship uh, with all the protection, uh, regain, and health, and stuff like that with tenacity. Um, tenacity and protection, I'm sorry. Along with the taunting, it's, uh, it's annoying. It's super annoying. <laughs> we got Xandu Blood. That was part of the Hyperdrive Bundle count. TIE Silencer, uh, Vulture Droid, and Imperial TIE Fighter. All part of that Hyperdrive Bundle count. Haven't been able to quite hit the Chimera. So um, I'm going to try to go in here soon again and try to do the Chimera. Uh, especially since I've got some Gear 12 characters now. Um... Oh no, that actually doesn't work because you need to take all rebels. I can't even take those guys. So yeah, we gotta work on our rebels, uh, our underlying characters for our rebels, and then we should be able to get in here in the Chimera and at least unlock it at five stars. The Zekitrix is, is still uh, sitting at five stars. Haven't gone back in to try to do that um, battle either. So I wanna get these Geos done. Uh, Geos are just ridiculous. I may actually be able to go through and do Zekitrix now. Uh, they got the Geos unlocked and at the levels that they are actually. Uh, we may be able to do that. We'll see tonight. So those are my ships, guys, and that's the account, really. Uh, we've been able to go through everything, grab this bonus energy here. Uh, I'm gonna be joining up on Grand Arena here soon. Let's try one thing real quick before I leave. Uh, just because I haven't used my Geos yet. We're gonna take these guys in. Let's see here. Let's take in these Geos and see how they can do really up against this. Let's take in TFP. Let's see what happens. I haven't tried it. This is the last part for a uh, Tarkin ship. All right, they all go under stealth, blah, blah, blah. Forgot how much these guys assist. Let's see if we can get a stun. Nope, not quite. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to be quite ready for this part of the event. You can see their health is pretty low and their protection, but we may be able to eat through. Let's see what happens here. Whew. Soldier is a different story, but these other two guys are quite a bit behind. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, all right, all right. Maybe I should have started off with the houndstooth in here. <laughs> yeah, my geos aren't quite there yet. They need some work. They definitely need some work. 
boss ship is doing pretty good and there's another ship down so yeah let's just auto this so yeah not quite there it's getting there but we're not there yet um yeah a little bit more gear on my geos and they should be able to go in here and defeat this just fine uh this is the last tier before you can take uh take this ship up to seven stars so not quite there we're not quite there all right if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know ar movie trailers hitting us with all kinds of questions i greatly appreciate that man um but that's where this hyperdrive bundle account is at do i think the hyperdrive bundle is worth it uh yes i think for the year 2020 and if you're starting this game out or you're even starting a new account uh you seriously need to consider purchasing that hundred dollar hyperdrive bundle account we're talking about a uh, about a year so a year advance in your account progress with the amount of characters you get the gear that you're getting getting the i think it's 10 zetas five or 10 zetas as well right off the bat but the biggest thing the thing that makes this so crazy is day one you're going to be able to farm ship abil ability materials and be able to get zetas because you're gonna have tier three simable to you so getting two zetas uh three times a week so six zetas a week um which really sets you up for two zetas a month right so this is 12 uh I mean, i'm sorry one zeta a month so uh it's 24 zetas out of four weeks and that is a zeta a month that you're going to be able to get uh as far as you need 20 of these to place a zeta on a character so day one being able to farm this is going to put you leaps and bounds above any of those free-to-play players that are out there for just spending just the hundred dollars and then you can play free-to-play for the rest of the way if that's the way you want to do it if you want to excel more spend 250 dollars on day one 100 dollars for the hyperdrive account and 150 dollars for shards uh or i'm sorry for crystals so that you can go into the journey guide go click on jedi knight revan go to the shop and purchase this journey mega bundle journey guide mega pack all right uh it's going to give you one guaranteed character um a pack uh plus these guys as well so this is where you really want to go um the quickest you're going to have a five star bastila sean right off the bat so um, you're going to need a lot less shards of her so you're really going in for this pack for the other four characters to get them to seven stars and really as long as you gear basil sean and jolie bindo which you should be able to get them to gear 10 gear 11 uh, i mean really gear 11 uh day one go in here you can leave the other ones alone not even place gear on them at all take them in the jedi knight revan uh legendary event and unlock jedi knight revan day one and then take your jedi knight revan up to gear 11 possibly gear 12 and then you should also be able to go in and almost get a seven star grandmaster yoda all in day one you can have a jedi knight revan team with grandmaster yoda jolie bindo basil Sean uh and one other jedi and just take over your arena um by far because you'll have jedi Knight anakin you have ahsoka tano at five stars and you'll just be able to run away with it um so that is my suggestion also you're definitely going to make sure if you're getting the hyperdrive bundle count to get in a good guild get in a guild that's doing at the very least at the very least they're doing heroic pit and heroic tank they may not be doing sith yet my guild is if you happen to get lucky enough to find a guild that's doing sith great you're getting able to do all three at heroic sith uh, but at least find a guild that is progressing fairly well in her in uh, the sith raid uh, so that you know that you're going to very soon get to heroic sith treya yes she's lost some viability in the game but she's a good count a very good counter to geos um and she can counter some other teams as well that attack after out of turn she really really hurts teams that attack out of turn uh she's great what is going on tricks drops i'm getting hate comments from doing these videos really man i haven't gotten any hate comments for these uh I know, uh, you know, the my community definitely likes these videos and enjoys these videos. 
um so sorry to hear about that man maybe we can team up talk a little bit um if you're doing videos and content on star wars galaxy of the heroes let me know down below but we're gonna get ready to get out of here for the night um thank you guys so much for coming by zach ar evo Evo is my co-host for Imps, guys. If you don't watch that series, make sure you stop by for that one. Jaden, as well. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, along with Trix. Uh, Zach says, I just changed guilds. I didn't mind the other one, but we couldn't manage 25 for territory. Yeah, that's a big one, man. Winning territory wars, I got to tell you, is huge because of your payouts that you get there. Uh, Evo and I talked about that. Thank you, man. I greatly appreciate that. New sub. Thanks tricks um yeah getting in a good guild that is participating in territory wars you got to be in an active guild um you know i'm getting uh two zetas two zetas a territory war there's four territory wars in a month um so you're talking about eight additional zeta mats that i'm getting every single month to help along my characters that is huge uh, i know evo and i came from a guild before we got into xd gaming uh, to where it started off really nice and then you know we went we went a couple of months with uh, not even be able to do territory wars and that decline happened really quick and uh, yeah we had to we had to jump ship on that as well all right guys again thank you so much for stopping by tonight i greatly appreciate it um look for a worth it series on a mega bundle or a mega pack journey guide mega pack for darth revan uh within the next couple of weeks we're going to be looking to do that <coughs> to see how we can see if we can get to seven star characters for darth revan obviously we're going to have to gear them that event is harder than jedi knight revans uh, but at least we can at least get the seven star the star count and then we can work on gear gear not as bad as working three months for that star count all right guys my name is itachi and this was itachi gaming thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't hit that subscription button yet don't forget to smash that sub button right now if you're watching right now live we got four likes don't forget to smash that like button guys and make sure you're not missing a thing by hitting that notification bell all right guys peace out